Robert Dury Osborne, the major of the Bengal Staff Corps, writes, Hussein had a child named Abdullah, only a year old. He had accompanied his father on this terrible march. Tortured by its cries, he took the infant in his arms and wept. At that instant, a shaft from the hostile ranks pierced the child's ear, and it expired in his father's arms. Hussein placed the little crops upon the ground. We come from God, and we return to him, he cried. O oh Lord, give me strength to bear this misfortune. Faint with thirst and exhausted with wounds, he fought with desperate courage, slaying several of his antagonists. At last, he was cut down from behind. At the same instant, a lance was thrust through his back and bore him to the ground. As the dealer of this last blow withdrew his weapon, the ill-fated son of Ali rolled over crops. The head was severed from the trunk, the trunk was trembled under the hooves of the victorious horses. At the next morning, the woman and the surviving infant son were carried away to Kufa. The bodies of Hussein and his followers were left unburied on the spot they fell. For three days, they remained exposed to the sun and the night dews. The vultures and the brawling animals of the waste, but then the inhabitant of neighboring village struck with the horror that the body of the grandson of the prophet should be thus shamefully abandoned to the unclean beast of the field. Dared the anger of Abedullah and entered the body of a martyr and those of his heroic friends.